Hello there, it's Christian Swift from the internetmarketingplace.com and today I just quickly wanted to show you around the back end of our WordPress website. Maybe you're new to WordPress or you don't understand some of the features located on the WordPress panel here. My aim today is to give you a quick whirlwind tour to get you comfortable with the layout and the general features of WordPress. Let's get into it. WordPress is a really, really fantastic platform to build your websites on. It's easy to use, it's well developed, and you can start building instantly once you've installed it. As you can see, right now we're on our home page, the main page on the back end of our website. And up here, you can see that I'm logged into my profile. What's really great about this home page, as soon as you log into WordPress, is that you can quickly and easily see recent stats from your website. So these are actually generated by plugins that we have installed, which I'll explain later. But basically, as soon as you log in, we can see what stats we've had today. Uh, we can see you know, what stats we've had over the past couple of weeks. And we can even see the, the general makeup of our website. So you can see we've got 20 posts here. These are blog posts, six comments, uh, and how many pages and testimonials we've got. And that really, really makes it very easy to see how your website is doing generally and really how large your website has grown since you started. It gives a really great overview. Now, from time to time, you will have to update certain features in your WordPress. And these updates can be viewed up here by clicking on the Updates button. Normally, when updates become available, uh, a number appears in an orange circle next to Updates. So all you have to do is click the Updates button and then you're taken to a page where you can update whichever features you want to. You can update your themes, you can update plugins, and it's literally all here on one page. As you can see, I, I don't have any updates at the moment, but you simply drop down from the dashboard and you go on to updates to view them. Now, moving down the list of Jetpack, Jetpack is actually a plugin that we have installed that was built by WordPress themselves. And what Jetpack does is it allows you to view site stats. It, it has a really great tool for viewing site stats. And you can even view more in-depth stats on WordPress.com. It also has a great feature called Akismet, which basically blocks spam comments from appearing on your website. These may have been left by individuals themselves, or it could be a spam comment bot um, that aims to just leave spam comments on a load of sites with links back to their site. So Jetpack is free to install, it's a plugin, and it's really great for those two things. So now down to making blog posts. To make a blog post, you, sic you simply click on posts and add new. Above where you, well, we just clicked add new, there is also view all posts. So you can simply view all the posts you have, and then as you land on the add new post section, you just simply enter your title, enter your post information. You've got the options to save draft and preview up here and publish when, you, when you've eventually finished the post. You can also group your posts into categories and add tags. Tags are generally to do more with the SEO and you can even install SEO plugins at the bottom so you can do your, your meta title, your meta description and your meta keywords. Um, and of course your Facebook information. And going back up to the top, you can set a featured image here. And categories, really, they're really, really critical for separating your posts on a website. So if somebody goes onto your blog and they're looking for posts, posts say about email marketing, they can just click on that category and all of the related posts come up. It's really, really powerful. So now the next stop on this quick tour is the media section. The media library is where all of your images on your website are stored all in one place. So they're all quickly accessible. Um, and this is also where you can find the links to all of your pictures if you need to. So as you can see, I've clicked on this image and the image URL where it's actually stored on your website is here. And you can change the title, the caption, the alternative text, uh, whatever you like to make it better. Um, and then when this image displays on a search engine, um, this will come up. So that's images. Now onto your actual website pages. So pages are located here under the pages tab. And just like posts, you can, you can view all pages if you already have some, or you can add new pages. Now, 
adding a new page under this tab adds a page generated by WordPress. So it's just a simple blank page, very similar to a, to a blank blog post. So as you can see, it's very similar. You just add the title, you add your information, and it's literally the same layout. Page attribute, attri at, excuse me, page attributes. This is all about the parent page. So if your if your if you want your page to be under listed under a page which you already have, this is where you would put that. And obviously, you can you can do the ordering as well. Um, you've also got the featured image here. We actually use a plugin to build most of our pages, which is called Optimize Press. This is available in a plugin or as, a, as an actual theme for your website. Um, the benefits of Optimize Press is that it, it allows you to simply build a page and it's literally drag and drop. So you have different sections in the page and you say you wanted a list of bullet points on your page. You literally go insert bullet points and then you just type out exactly what you want and it's done. I'll leave that to another video now, but uh, we've got a blog post explaining uh, the benefits of Optimize Press and I'll also put a link below so you can go and check it out for yourself. It's actually, it's, a, it's an extremely powerful program um, and we highly, highly recommend it for building website pages. So now the next section down is your comments section and this is where you can find all the all the comments that have been listed on your various blog articles on your website. Um, also, the pingbacks you get on your, on your website will be listed here. Pingbacks are basically when another blog uh, quotes or quotes a link from one of your blog articles, and it, it's it's an interconnected system where you get a notification that they've they've linked to one of your articles, and also if you post a blog and link to another one of your blogs, it will appear here as a pingback. So it's well worth taking note of. The next section is actually is testimonials. And here you can clearly see that you can add new testimonials and you've also got a space for viewing testimonials you've got on your site and also categorizing them. Testimonials are great for social proof on your site. It's really great them to have great to have them on your sales pages. Uh, I would recommend not overdoing them. Um, you know that they they're great if someone's going to buy something. You know that a lot of people look for other people's opinions. You know previous results. So it's really great to have them on your site. Just make sure you don't overdo them. So I've already briefly explained Optimize Press. So I'll move on to appearance. Appearance is where you can change the theme on your website. You can change, uh, you can change settings with widgets. You know the order which widgets appear, and it's it's generally the place you go to customize your website. So all of those options are down here listed. This is one of the places that I prefer the most on the site because I'm really really create. I'm a creative individual, and I really really love going into appearance and mixing and matching things and. It's really critical that you make your website original and different to other websites on the internet simply because it's getting so much more of a busier place that you really, really need to stand out from your competition. So this is the this is the the basic place that you can go to do that. And there are thousands of theme website themes that you can download. You can buy some off the internet, you know, optimize press up here has its own theme that comes with it, which is actually the theme that we use. So there's lots of different options and I suggest you you go into the marketplace and and simply have a look. And if I go on to themes here, just quickly, you can see these are the themes installed. Uh, the active ones optimize press and this is a stand, this is a 2015 WordPress theme. But if you go up to here to add new theme, you can literally scroll through loads and loads of them and there's some really really great ones on there. So the next section is plugins and you can find plugins down here and it's very similar to all the other menus in that you, you can see your installed plugins, you can add new plugins um, and this is generally where plugins are generally what make your website usable in many different ways. So you can get plugins for seeing website stats, you can get plugins for testimonials, um, you can get plugins uh, say 
we, these are a few of our plugins. Um, so we've got avatars here, so you can display an avatar after each of your blog posts. You can get plugin plugins to automatically uh, link your site to Google Analytics, which is which is absolutely amazing for website stats, um, and it does it all automatically. Uh, we've got hello bar here that also adds a little bar at the top of the, the top of your website when someone you know go, lands on your homepage or your blog posts. So there there really are loads of plugins. I mean you've got You've got SEO here. You've got link cloaking for affiliate links. What I suggest is you go on. You 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 go on to plugins up here. You look. You go on to add new, and literally look for the most popular ones. You know, go on, go on, um, go on forums. See what other people are using, and you can pretty much get a plugin for anything. So there's the popular tabs here. There's recommended by WordPress themselves, featured plugins, or you know if you hear of a good one just search it over here and if you can't find it after searching generally it's the case that you're going to have to google the plugin um, download it and then you can actually you can actually install a plugin that way as well which is really great so now we're on to website users users uh, like say I've got my profile up here you can have multiple users who have multiple sets of login details for a website so if you're in a company or um, you know, you've got multiple people logging into your site. This is where you go to to add a new user or view all the users that have login details. And it's also where you go to manage what powers they have. So who can change what, you know, we, me and Joe here are both down as administrators and you can change people's roles. You've got subscriber, contributor, author, editor and admin is the top level. So you can change, you can change how much access people have to do different things on the website um, and you know if you're working with an outside marketing company and you want to get them on this on your site but not give them permission to add other users you can you can do that here you can th this is basically where you go to set all that up so the next section is tools down here and we don't do too much with tools they're they're great if you're moving information between websites or if you want to do some real techie stuff but I won't bore you with them now simply because this is this is a get started video so this is where the tool section is um, and I'm sure you'll want to delve into it in more depth you know when the time comes the next section I wanted to move on to is the settings section now the settings section as you can see a, a few of our plugins are listed here and this is where you find your general settings um, for your website your writing and reading settings so you know the text size, all different bits, um, and also your your settings for plugins. So this is where you you get them all set up. Uh, this is where all the details are, and this is where you'll generally go to fiddle around with the the settings on your website. So below settings, these are just a few plugins that we have installed. It it will be useful for you to take note of these because they might be useful for your website. Uh, we would highly recommend them. They, you know, they've been really great to us. I won't go into too much depth about them, um, simply because that that was to do with the plugin section. But what I will do is go up to this top bar here, and this over here I've explained. This this is my account and the fact that I've logged in. Delete cache here. Oh, sorry, just jumped the screen. Sorry, this is my profile options. I've just clicked on. Delete cache here, that's a plugin for deleting a website cache. And basically what the cache is, is when somebody goes onto your your a page on your website, it's stored on their browser. So the next time they load the page, it will load quicker. So basically deleting the cache deletes that information out of the system, which will speed up your website. Here there's a button for new, so you can add a new post, uh, it's basically a short short link for adding posts, media, pages, testimonials or users. So that's really handy. And over here, um, this is just a very quick link to visit your website. One thing I would say about that is that it's very, well, it's very easy to just click on that. But if you're actually doing something on the site, it's a lot better to right click and then open it in a new tab. And that way you've got you've got your site opening in a new tab and you don't lose everything you're doing on the back end of WordPress. And finally, up here, um, this is these are simply um, 
support and help links. You know, you've got about WordPress here, WordPress.org. Um, so they're, they're good, useful links um, to take you to support articles. And don't forget the WordPress.com blog as well, which is really, really great great for getting information about WordPress and loads of tips and tricks. So I really highly recommend that too. So I'll just go back to the dashboard now, which is the home page. I really hope that you enjoyed this quick tour and that it gave you some more insight into the back end of WordPress and you know where all the different features are located and what you can do with it. Um, if, you're, if you're watching this video anywhere else except our blog on the internetmarketingplace.com then head over there that's where all of the goodies are you know we, we're giving away some really great content there you can you can read our articles for free so go over there we love to hear from you um, remember to leave us a comment subscribe to our youtube channel to get more more great videos uh, giving you support as you go and i really hope to see you again soon